Hey everyone and welcome to Sneaker Web and today we have a very special performance review but before we get into that I do just want to give a quick shout out to an apparel company named Too Lethal. Too Lethal prints amazing stuff if you haven't checked them out yet I'll leave a link in the description box for you guys but with that being said let's get right into the performance review of the Nike Kyrie 7. And starting off with the bottom of the shoe, the traction pattern. Now, this is a computational 3D mapped tracked after Kyrie's movements on the court. And this is what we've ended up with. One giant herringbone spread across the entire shoe, front to back, side to side, it's all over the place. And how this worked? Well, I only tested these outdoors, so those are my only thoughts going into this. They work great outdoors, but with one tiny major drawback. And the major flaw of this is durability. It doesn't really last that long after the three weeks that I tested this. I don't even wanna know how much the traction pattern can be wore down after playing in these straight outdoors for even like a month or two months. But basically the traction pattern started fraying after the first night. And I don't know how much better I can tell you what type of durability that is, but that's not good, especially in this time frame where in this pandemic we can only play outdoors. So take that information with what you will. Either way, I do recommend just using this as a rotational shoe within your rotation of maybe two, three shoes that you play outdoors in, but this would not be the main shoe in my opinion just based off of the traction. Now getting into the cushion, the cushion, however, cushion's a different story. It's one of the best cushion setups I've felt. It's basically a Phylon carrier with Nike Zoom Turbo, just like the Nike Kyrie 5 and 6. And this feels, once broken in, just like the Kyrie 6, which was a great setup. It's a four foot heavy cushion with a lot of court feel, but with a lot of responsiveness and springiness springy. I don't even know if that's a word, but we're using it today. And that's the type of setup that I personally like is a minimal cushion that keeps me low to the ground, but also has good responsiveness as well. And that's what this offers. That's what you're going to get out of this shoe. Now getting into the fit and support of this shoe, the fit, just like the Kyrie 6, go up half a size immediately because it's a super snug fit if you go true to size, almost suffocating really. And once you get the correct fit, you're going to get the amazing lockdown and support out of this shoe. Traditional lacing setup with four foot straps and nylon cables in the four foot to contain all your four foot movements. My foot did not slide around in these shoes at all. There was none of that going around here. And the heel, pretty solid performer out of this shoe in terms of the heel lockdown, not the Kobe 9 level or any of the Kobe's really in this shoe, but it does get the job done. Like I said, you're not gonna slip and you're not gonna slide off the footbed. In my opinion, you'd really have to try and roll your foot or hopefully you do not step on anybody's foot and roll your ankle that way. I've had that happen. I'm assuming many of others have had that happen to us as well. It's not pleasant, but you're gonna be contained in this shoe no matter what you do. Crossovers, step backs, anything like that, you're gonna be covered. Now the materials, like I mentioned, I only played in these outdoors, so these were beaten up heavily uh, with all the debris flying around, all the dirt, sand, gravel, whatever, asphalt. These were beaten pretty badly and the material doesn't even show signs of that. The glue is still attached to the midsole. The mesh hasn't torn at all in any specific places. The stitching is still intact. The only thing that has shown a sign of wear is this eyelet right here. And that's from me just yanking on the laces just to tie them up repeatedly. And that fuse piece right here, it basically split in half is what it did. But again, that's after yanking them constantly. I am not kind to my shoes whatsoever. And that kind of wraps things up for the Kyrie 7. Those are my thoughts on this shoe. 
And to get into more detail, I'm bringing something back. Let's head over to the Board of Shoe Science to get a detailed look at all the extra stuff that we just talked about. And welcome back to the Board of Shoe Science where we talk about in detail about these shoes that we test here over at Sneaker Web. And starting off with the traction, like we mentioned, the durability in the shoe just doesn't last. And on this whiteboard, this red area right here is basically non-existent if any tread is left at all. And what I mean by non-existent is that none of this, none of that is there anymore or is usable at all. Same thing with the red portion down here. This is, that's just not there. That, that, I don't know how else to <laughs> tell you, but yes, this traction durability wise is just not the best. But what is working very well is the four foot straps, which act like a combination between the Kyrie 6 and the fly trap that was used on the Kyrie 5, which worked very well on this shoe. And what also worked very well is the springiness of the Nike Turbo Zoom. And the midsole phylon worked very well. The only thing that I have a real complaint about this is the traction. Nike, I know you have the technology to go back and look at the durability and see what worked and especially what worked outdoors. Hopefully that goes into the next model that is going to be used or the data that's going to be used in the Nike Kyrie 8. But we will never know until the shoe comes out. We do know that the shoe is being designed and we're tested currently, but we won't know what's going to come out of that. But let's take it back to our studio and wrap things up. And that kind of takes care of everything for the Nike Kyrie 7. Let us know your thoughts down below if you've played in a pair already. And subscribe and like this video if you like what you see here. And swing by next time to see all the new content coming here at Sneaker Web. And until next time, guys, peace.